This scale compares the weight placed on the platform with a standard weight, known as a poise, that slides along an off-center weigh beam until it balances. A punch press forms sheet steel into the head or top of the scale's column. Workers form the column from another piece of steel using this press break. Then they spot weld the head and column together. Another machine stamps out lengths of steel that will form the frame for the scale's base. Workers use the press brake again to bend both sides of the steel lengths. Then they fold it by hand to form the frame. They clamp the frame onto a base and this robot welds them together. The robot moves on to weld other components to the scale, such as the lever mechanism and the base plate. Now workers place steel bearings at each corner of the base where the lever mechanism will rest. Then add the base frame. Next, they install the long lever, then the short lever. A C-clip joins them together. Once it's right side up, the lever mechanism hangs off the platform. The columns receive a coat of electrostatically charged paint that evenly coats the metal for a flawless finish. Once it's dry, a machine silk screens the brand name onto the column. Now for the final assembly. A worker inserts a 1.2 meter steel rod that will tie the weigh beam to the levers. He works the rod up through the column. Then at the column's head, he screws it to the weigh beam's shelf. Another worker hammers the large poise into position on the weigh beam, then the smaller poise. They screw onto the beam in two parts so they can glide freely. She applies a gauge onto the beam that indicates the weight measured in pounds from 0 to 350. Now she takes a zero adjustment screw and spring loads it onto the beam. This allows the beam to balance when the poises are set at zero and the scale is unweighted. A retaining ring holds the screw in place. At the assembly line, workers fasten the scale's column to its base. They cover the pivot to protect it from wear and set down the weigh beam that balances on it. Then they connect it to the steel rod that comes up through the column from the base. Once the weigh beam connects to the lever mechanism at the base, the scale is functional. Now it's time to make sure it's accurate. Each scale goes to a weigh station where workers check the readings in 20 kilo increments. If the readings are off, workers go back and remove some lead from inside the large poise so the scale calibrates perfectly. Just a few grams of lead can make all the difference in accuracy. Finally, they place a plastic cover over the working parts and the scale is complete.